the benefits of the 5G technology is how it can help us to make all these processes safer. A kind of a futuristic scanner. It stopped. <laughs> 大家好, hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm in a very exciting place. Thanks to an invitation from Huawei, we are at the Innovation Lab here in the beautiful city of Suzhou. Right now we're going to explore some of the coolest applications to different industries where 5G is helping to make processes faster, safer and more efficient. So come with me and explore these applications. One of the coolest applications of 5G technology is an automated factory. Right now, we have a demonstration on how it basically works, how we use 5G technology to enable faster processes on the fabrication and manufacturing of different articles. So right now, this is a small demonstration using different robotic arms from the very beginning to the end. We can see how it's moving and taking all the parts, all the components of the product to assemble them and put them together and then moving through the different parts of the assembly line, going to go all the way to the final stage, which is this little robot here that later will move by itself to the next stage of the manufacturing part. This is part of the assembling line, but it also has kind of independent process because it needs to transfer the final product to another side of the factory. Some of the benefits of the 5G technology is how it can help us to make all these processes safer. When we're talking about different kind of mining and extraction of raw material processes, it may be a little bit unsafe. 5G technology is allowing us to make all these processes safer by installing some kind of sensors within this transportation belt. It will let us know if there is any kind of problem or risk within the transportation belt. So it will, of course, avoid people to go inside to inspect manually these kind of places. A uh, kind of a futuristic scanner is also using different sensors and cameras to detect imperfection in these steel cables. Usually, this kind of inspection process has to be done manually by a person who goes inside and inspects if there's any problem with these cables. The rate of accuracy of this process is 50% if it's done manually. These kind of scanners can reach 90% of accuracy, can detect also scratch or fractures within the cable in very fast time. Of course, the 5G technology allows to transfer all this information to the data center in real time. We have an example of what would it be an assembling line for chips. This kind of product needs to be analyzed to detect any kind of imperfection. We have here one big high quality camera that will inspect the product. It will analyze, it will take a high quality picture and it actually detected some mistake or imperfection in the product and it will put it aside. G is also allowing factories and warehouses to use high-speed data transfer to locate articles and machines and different kind of objects within a big space. How is it helping? If we have a huge space where we have a lot of objects, a lot of products, a lot of machines, and we need to find something very specific in a short frame of time, it will be able to go uh, to the specific locations because it already has all the information uh, within the system and it will know where it's located, it will go fast, collect the product and take it to the place where I need to be taken. And that is what I'm actually doing right now. We can see right now it's moving all around the place. It's using a predetermined route to follow. We have some blue lines all around this lab and this is actually the place for the route that is following. Of course, when we're talking about machines, it needs to enhance safety first. So what happened right now is I got too close to the transportation machine. It has some moving sensors and it will stop right on time to avoid any kind of accidents. Just because I was passing by and it detected that somebody's crossing, it will avoid this kind of accident by just simply stopping. 
it stopped. <laughs> This here is one of my favorites because this is an inspection card. It is also equipped with different kind of sensors and camera, so it will avoid people needs to go to the place to inspect by themselves. Instead of that, we're gonna have this card that will go to the place, take pictures, make videos, and send the data to all these sensors to be analyzed. It will inform to this data analyst and will let them know what the problem is so it can be avoided in real time. What is the best features? of the 5G technology is how fast it is the transfer speed. We can use all this technology to make all these processes way safer. This highly intelligent inspection card comes with 5G and artificial intelligence supported technologies like image recognition and smoke and gas detection. And it is here to help. They can go in toxic and harmful environments and send back data in real time that effectively reduces possible accidents as well as improve the worker safety. When we talk about 5G technology, the benefits are countless. Safety, efficiency, and time are some of the biggest benefits that we might have. So what we have here in this screen is the real-time information that this inspection card is sending right now to the data center. We can see that the car is making these inspections in real time. Of course, with the sensors, it is able to identify possible obstacles and avoid them and turn right, left, or go straight depending on the scenario or the situation that it's facing. China is leading the electric vehicles manufacturing industry. What we're seeing right now is a robotic arm that has some kind of scanner and sensors that will double check the position of the battery. When we talk about electric vehicles, these electric components are very, very delicate and it's very important the position, the specific position that it needs to have on the car. So this scanner will analyze the surface and the position of the battery within the car to make it as accurate as possible. Folks, I'm going to be wandering around nice and beautiful places here in China and documenting about it. I will also be Instagramming my day today and my trips in this awesome country. Feel free to follow me and leave your comments and impressions over there about life in China. I will leave the link to my account in the description down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my follow-up stories about what's going on in this part of the world. If you think there might be someone else interested in these kind of videos, please consider sharing. My name is Rafael, thanks for watching, and stay safe until next time.